I'm sorry, I'm allergic to bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, The Truth31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on that face, neck, and chest. So apparently, DC Trash Dome has garnered over 66 million views, previously breaking last year's Trash Dome, which is a goddamn lie. But without further ado, let's discuss. Your intellect is as weak as your dollar. Failure is your destiny. You disrespect yourself and your nation. You are made of stupid. So according to Warner Brothers, you know, you know, Warner Brothers, we can always trust them. DC Fandom brought in 66 million viewers. This tripled last year's event with 22 million. Bruh, I can already tell you right now, this is utter nonsense. You can miss me with this nonsense, bruh. Ain't no way on God's beautiful green earth that this doubled last year's fandom, especially when you had uh, Zack Snyder's Just League. Even Boris Kitt, who is there, a writer for The Hollywood Reporter, uh, put out this tweet. Numbers that would even make the Riddler scratch his head. WB says DC fandom generated 66 million views worldwide to date, but offers no context, no breakdown. The Batman trailer on the WB YouTube page has generated over 25 million views. Congrats to that. Is that counted? Exactly. <laughs> He's like, where did Warner Brothers get these numbers from? Out of fucking Ann Cernoff's dusty old ass? Bruh, miss me with this nonsense. This is obviously bullshit. This is obviously a ploy to fucking try to hide the, I'm assuming, low numbers, bro, from, from last year's DC fan. Oh, bruh, miss me. This is garbage. I don't believe you. Last year's DC fandom had so much hype, number one, because of Zack Snyder. Number two, Zack Snyder was actually bringing new footage for Zack Snyder's Just League and a brand new trailer, which had everyone just waiting in anticipation to see the trailer. And number two, it was a, it was something new. It was something fresh. Like Warner Brothers, for the first time in history, actually did something cool and, and did something original, which is bring in a, a, just a big global event for hardcore DC fans and for the general audience as well to showcase new DC movies, TV shows, cartoons, and all that stuff. But this year, there was no hype, especially like when Anne Cernoff, aka Granny Goodness, just completely cut the legs off of every Snyderverse fan saying, no, no, you know, this is Zack Snyder's trilogy. What you saw is what you're going to get only, and we're not going to continue with this nonsense, especially with this bullshit, bro. Bullshit! Here's the only good parts of DC fandom. And I say good parts very loosely. The Flash trailer or the Flash little footage or teaser or whatever you want to call it. That was pretty cool. Uh, Black Adam. That was pretty cool to see, you know, actually, you know, a, a movie that's been in development for over 250 years where we finally saw footage of The Rock kicking ass as Black Adam. That was awesome. And of course, the main event was the Batman, Robert Pattinson's Batman. That trailer literally saved DC fandom, or should I say DC trashed them. That Batman trailer was absolutely fucking amazing. And there's a reason why they put it at the end of DC trashed them, because nobody, because they knew, they knew what they had was lackluster, was like, okay, a couple of CW shows, fucking super pets that, that no one cares about, and that's it. Like, like, no one cared about this event, bro. The only thing people cared about was the Batman, and that's what they should have, um, kicked off with but of course you no know, they saved it at the end because they knew it was like yeah no, no one's gonna watch this fucking four hours event except for my dumb ass <laughs> so let's put the batman on last and uh let's save the best for last and it was it was the best thing out of, to come out of dc fandom so hopefully next year with this whole merger that comes in with david zaslav hopefully changes you know everything and there's a new regime that comes in Maybe, possibly, DC Phantom next year could be a whole lot better with Zack Snyder on board coming back for Zack Snyder Just League Part 2 and Part 3. And maybe, you know, a Man of Steel 2 announcement or a Ben Affleck announcement coming back as Batman. Something. Something to get us excited. Something for us to look forward to other than, you know, fucking super pets and bat wheels, which no one gives a shit about unless you are on the fucking same intellectual capacity of Forrest Gump. No one wants to see that bullshit, bro. We want Man of Steel 2 and we want everything else. Just imagine that. You have these thoughts, and, and you almost grab it. And then... So in closing, I don't believe this shit. This sounds like the 66 million views. That shit sounds like some fucking coffee talk shit city war stool bullshit, which I don't fucking believe at all. That sounds, that sounds like utter nonsense. So hopefully next year, 
DC Trash Dome will be actually DC Fandom with Zack Snyder coming back with, for Just League Part 2 and Part 3 or some kind of Man of Steel 2 announcement. But as always, those are my thoughts, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. What did you think of DC Trash Dome? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, let me know. As always, love you guys. Stay safe. Chew out.